Hello everybody and a warm welcome to my channel Tarot by Isabella. I am very happy to see you here today and I hope you're all doing great even if we live in very strange and turbulent times. Today's video will be a highlight video of the country of Cambodia. And to do this, this video I'm going to use my crystal ball, tarot cards, oracle cards and some ties. But before I begin this reading, I must thank you all, wonderful, wonderful viewers, for all of your support to this channel. For your mails, for your comments, for your sharing, caring coffees. It's so overwhelming and I'm very, very grateful and it helps a lot to continue doing more videos. So thank you so much for that. And I also want to give a short scam warning. There are a lot of scammers out there. Please be aware. I never contact you first, I never promote any products, crypto, whatever, uh, sell anything and uh, I don't do personal readings in case you should uh, encounter someone with my profile photo pretending to maybe doing personal readings on some maybe Facebook group or something like that. It's not me. So please be careful. Uh, what's more? Uh, uh, yeah, about this um, uh, reading I'm going to do, I um, will also read some short facts uh, about Cambodia that could be interesting to hear. I have them here. I also have in front of me a little map of Cambodia. So in case I see something special, I could maybe pinpoint out where um, that could be. And I don't speak uh, Khmer, Cambodian language. So if I pronounce some names uh, wrong, please um, have overlooked that a little bit. I, I, as I said, I don't speak Cambodian language. Uh, well, I think that was the most um, important things to begin with. And... Uh, Let's start with uh, the short facts. So this sh these short facts, you can find them easily online. There are a lot of information about Cambodia. And uh, I was just picking a little bit here, a little bit there. And of course, there could be many things I missed. Uh, but you can always Google it or look it up if you want to have more deeper information about Cambodia. So let's say, let's see what uh, the short facts have to say. Mm -hmm. Short facts about Cambodia. Cambodia is a country in the Indo-Chinese mainland of Southeast Asia. The influences of many Asian cultures alongside those of France and the United States can be seen in the capital Phnom Pen. Its population is uh, around 16.7 million people and the head of the state is a king, uh, Norodom Sihamoni, and the form of government is constitutional monarchy and they speak the Khmer language. The Theravada Buddhism, which is practiced by approximately 95% of the population is the official religion of Cambodia. Cambodia is about one third the size of France and somewhat larger than the US state of Missouri. It is bordered to the west and northwest by Thailand, to the northeast by Laos, to the east and southeast by Vietnam and to the southwest by the Gulf of Thailand. One often cited interesting fact about Cambodia is the frequency of which it has changed its name. Originally known as the Kingdom of Cambodia in 1953, the country has gone through five names since then, only to now return to its original name. A, re a very interesting fact is the average age of the population of Cambodia. Around 50% of Cambodia's people are younger than 15 years old. Uh, Cambodia was probably the only country in the world's history 
that was bombed just to intimidate another country. The bombing carried out by the United States between 1965 and 1973 was to intimidate Vietnam. But many people don't know that the US was assisted by none other than the Khmer Rouge. The bombing resulted in the deaths of approximately 300,000 individuals in Cambodia, but was nothing compared to what was coming next. The mass decimation of the Cambodian population under the rule of the Khmer Rouge party is why there are very few elders in the country. Between 1975 and 1979, the period when the party held power, in just four years between two and three million of the eight million strong population was murdered. The killing fields is where a lot of the atrocities were committed. The objective of the Khmer Rouge party was to establish a society without social classes centered around agriculture in the rural, rural areas. Um, there is no McDonald's in the country. Cambodia is one of the few countries in the world where McDonald's hasn't laid down roots. Oddly, the country does have a Burger King. Geckos can predict marriage. Many Cambodian locals believe that counting the chirps of a gecko will predict whether one will marry or not. It is also considered good luck if a Tokai gecko is in the same room and it calls out seven or more times. In the early 1990s, Cambodia was one of the most heavily mined countries in the world, with an estimated 9 to 10 million landmines. It is believed that there are still several million active mines buried throughout the country's rural countryside, and that organizations are trying to detect and dismantle uh, this explosives. Angkor Wat is the world's largest religious monument, covering an area of 162.6 hectares. The temple was built by the Khmer King Suryavarman II in the early 12th century. The temple was initially a Hindu temple, however, gradually it was it got transformed into a Buddhist temple by the end of the 12th century. Traditionally, birthdays aren't celebrated in Cambodia, uh, but funerals are of great importance. Uh, possibly the most interesting fact on the list is a staggering amount of money that is spent on funerals in Cambodia. The average cost of a funeral is thought to be around 9,000 US uh, dollars. In Cambodia, a person's head is considered the highest part of their body and is almost sacred and should never be touched, even if it's done in a kind and loving manner. While a person's head is very sacred and respected, the underside of a person's foot is not. Pointing the soul of your food at someone, or even something, is considered very disrespectful. The Cambodian staple food is rice and fish, of course, but Cambodians have a rather exotic selection of street food. Spiders, locusts, fried crickets, etc. are not uncommon. Um, yeah, and uh, Cambodia have many temples and many temple that, temples that are not yet discovered. And there is a temple, um, and there have been a lot of rumors about this temple, and it's a Bayonstai temple of Ta Prom, famously known as the Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider temple. And on this temple, there is um, a carved image of something that looked like a dinosaur, and it looks like this. And suggesting the presence of a carving depicting a stegosaurus, some enthusiastic observers 
have even claimed that this carving serves, serves as evidence of a coexisting co coexistence between humans and dinosaurs. And Cambodia is not the only place where there have been found carvings of dinosaurs interacting with humans. Also, I don't, I don't remember which country in South America, but they also have found very old stones with carvings of uh, humans riding on dinosaurs and so on. So maybe there are a lot of more to our history than we have been taught. So one could maybe have a little open mind and see um, if they could lay some truth behind those findings. Okay, the last about Cambodian facts. Cambodia has the only river in the world that flows in two different directions. Twice a year, Ton Le Sap changes its flow direction depending on the season whether it's the monsoon or dry season. Yeah, that was a little bit about the short facts. Now we're going to start the reading about Cambodia. First, I need to concentrate for a few moments on my crystal ball and uh, soon we begin. Okay, for the country of Cambodia. Okay, let's see what we can find here. Since we have a lot of manipulated weather all around the world, the weather patterns are not normal at the moment. For Cambodia, and Cambodia is a tropical country, I see that there will be like snow. In some areas they, they will uh, snow very heavily and that is not normal. And it will be for a couple of days and then it passes away and melts, melts down. So some kind of strange uh, weather system. And people gonna be quite scared, uh, gonna be they're going to think like there's some signs from the gods, um, or things like that. They will start a new project um, to detect landmines. And many, many people every year are still hurt uh, by those landmines and there are extremely many people that have lost arms, legs, feet uh, due to those horrible landmines. Um, there could be some kind of technology, some drone technology or something like that that will hover over big areas uh, where are supposed to be landmines and they could from a distance uh, trigger those landmines to explode uh, without hurting any people. In the future, and I cannot say exactly when, uh, all the damage that has been done to Cambodian people, uh, they will get some kind of excuse but also I see a lot, of, a lot of money flowing into Cambodia. And this money will be distributed among all its citizens. Uh, doesn't matter if poor or rich, but especially for the poor people. New schools, new housings, and somewhat better life. Uh, living conditions for everyone. Mm -hmm. 
and I see in university schools popping up in many places since there is a big group of young people and they need also to get good education so everything will be organized for those young people and it seems like those schools will be for free and very very good education more mysteries will be revealed um, around those temples those old temples that exist in Kapocha. they will find more temples hidden in the jungle and, or in the soil and a lot of those findings that has been done until today is hidden especially the extraterrestrial connection and this will also be revealed I don't know if this year or next year but it's quite close in the future uh, I also get here that uh, the king uh, could fall ill and will be taken to hospital and, uh, I don't see any fatal illness uh, and he will recover from that. Some new, um, very healthy way to um, grow food will also be introduced in uh, Cambodia. And that will help to gain bigger crops, uh, organic crops, uh, much healthier food. And it will be exported to um, different kind of uh, countries, surrounding countries. Uh, their silk production will also grow and very beautiful uh, silk cloths, cloths will come out from um, Cambodia. Around this river, it goes here a little, it's called Mekong River. Um, it could be that this river will rise or will lower. Something will happen with the level of the river. And while it, it's on a very low position, very interesting archaeological findings uh, will be found. Mm -hmm. And also in some temples in mountain areas, could be here, probably in the, in the south, old scriptures mm, will come to the open with very, very interesting uh, text, also with extraterrestrial connection. Mm -hmm. Well, that was what I could see in my crystal book. Let's continue to the cards. First, I need to shuffle a little bit. Oracle cards. The last one. 
And finally some dice. This was empty. I need another one. And the cards, they look like this. Let's see here what we have for Cambodia. In the tarot cards we have the strength, the nine of cups, page of cups, the star and the sun. On the oracle cards we have a line, loss, navigating this by the stars, follow your bliss, mice and a child. And on the dice we have flying, ravenous turn and balloons. According to the cards, um, we have page of cups in the center and that symbolizes young people, children. A lot of work, a lot of effort will be put in to give all those young people, those children, a very happy, loving upbringing and life. Big changes are coming for the young population of Cambodia. Um, they will become healthier, stronger. We have both the wishes come true, the sun and the star. And mo many of those young children are very powerful young children, spiritually healthy mentally and they will turn Cambodia over to, into an era of uh, bliss and um, prosperity. The stars are aligning symbolically that signs are coming, big changes are coming for Cambodia. All the mice, symbolically, uh, countries or peoples that have been parasiting on uh, taking advantage of Cambodia and its population will be kicked out, will not be allowed to make any more problems for the Cambodian people. And for Cambodia, it waits ahead. Here we have a happy child. Beneath the child, we have the sun. Uh, like the children will be cherished a lot, they will become much happier and healthier in the future. Mm. And uh, it will be a ravenous turn and it flies, so it, this change for Cambodia will come quite quickly, I cannot say exactly when, but it will come soon. And we have balloons, time for celebrations. We are in coming into a big cleansing of our planet and this will be very very known and seen also in the country of Cambodia where they have so many young people in their population. Mm. Okay, let's uh, continue. Now I'm gonna take some last cards for Cambodia. To see if there is any more information that wants to come out. Some last words for Cambodia. Mm. 
Here we have Queen of Cups, Nine of Coins, Ten of Cups, Six of Coins, and Page of Swords. And that confirms again, uh, we have happy family life in the center, people getting along. And it will be made a big effort for the families, for the children, to have much better life conditions or living conditions. We have the Nine of Coins just beside the um, Ten of Cups. Um, a lot of funds will be given to Cambodia and some kind of agreement that nobody will n ever go into war or some kind of very, very big and strong peace agreement, I would say. Mm -hmm. And motherhood uh, will still be encouraged. Uh, people, it will be much easier for people to um, start families. Yeah, um, and there will be a lot, a lot of fun, a lot of money uh, for that area. So there are big blessings, big changes coming for the Cambodian people, and they have been suffering so much during so long due to other countries involvement and um, and greed yeah. but changes for the better are waiting ahead yeah well that was my reading for Cambodia and uh, if you have liked what you have seen and heard Please don't forget to press like button, share button and subscription button. And to all of you lovely, wonderful Cambodian people, be strong, take care. Lovely changes for the better are coming for your country. And you will see your country blossom uh, so much in the quite near future. And to all of you, thank you so much for watching. And hopefully we're going to see each other soon. Bye-bye.